I'm sorry. I should have taken your word for it. You are the best neurosurgeon in the country. Still, uh, I was hoping that another pair of eyes would have caught something that I missed. I wish that had happened to him. I really do. Is there anything that I can do? Um, just keep the news to yourself for a little bit longer. Of course. But don't wait too long to call my office to make an appointment for your treatments. Right, right, I'll be in touch. I'm counting on it. I've got to go talk to Ted. No, no, Elijah, please, no. You can't talk to Taya because she doesn't even know that I know. And, and I don't know if, if she's told Todd or Danny, so please. Come on. Don't say anything to her yet, and please. Promise me. All right, that's fine. I have to be back in court anyway. Oh, right. Right, Cole. Uh, sorry, I, I know he must be going through hell. It's really hard on Star, too. Nora has offered a reduced charge, luckily, and... Cole's agreed to the guilty police, and now it's just a matter of finding a judge to go along with it. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Thanks. Meanwhile, what are we going to do about this? I don't know yet. We'll figure something out. Mm -hmm. Matthew, I wouldn't read too much into uh, Danny not getting back to you right away, okay? Because she's got a lot going on right now. I know, and that's why I thought she might want to talk to me about it. To somebody who actually cares. And I'm sure that when she does, you're going to be the go-to guy. I hope so. Well, maybe if I go to school early, we'll have some time to talk about it. Good idea. Why don't you get going? Okay, uh, what are you going to do? Let's practice your dance moves. Well, I'm going to just sit right here on this couch and try to figure out how the hell to give your mom the wedding that will top our first one. Okay, we're not going to focus on Todd right now. Today is about you, Cole. I've met with your attorney, and once he gets here and we hammer out some specifics, the goal is to keep you out of jail, if at all possible. Thanks. Oh, don't thank me until we hear what the judge has to say. Come here. Come here. Boy, you still have your grandma, Shane. There's no way in hell she's gonna give you up. And I bet you don't want to give her up either. I don't, but... She's not really your mom. Honey, a mom isn't just someone who gives birth to you. That's you right. Know? Yeah. And I, I, I know I keep trying to talk about finding my, my, my real parents. That, that's, that's, not, that's not the right way to put it, because there's nothing that's not uh, real about Roxy, except maybe her nails. Or her roots. But she'd be there for me no matter what. And I wouldn't trade her for anyone. His family is not just about blood. At all. Damn right it's not. This is what it's about. And you are my precious pain in the ass grandson. And I don't give a blank what anybody thinks. <laughs> Me neither. And you, Rex, you are my heart. And I don't care about your bio mother at all because she's never gonna love you the way I do. 